What's going on everyone? Welcome to this new episode of the Watch Brothers. I am your host David and today I want to talk to you about Casio. Yes, the Japanese giant. Although there is very little left to say about this company, we all know and love their products and they were founded in 1946 and since then they have been associated with great quality, high technology and innovation. Uh, they manufacture everything from keyboards to calculators and of course what we are all here for, wrist watches. Uh, as a watch enthusiast, I have to say that I really love and appreciate their products. As a matter of fact, I am a true believer that any self-respecting watch collection should have at least half a dozen of these watches. And that's precisely what I want to talk to you about today. I'm going to share with you seven Casio digital watches that I think any watch enthusiast should know about, plus two bonuses if you promise to behave. Alright, so that's enough uh, chat. Let's jump to the intro and take a look at these awesome time pieces. All right, so here we are. We're going to start this list uh, uh, in order from the least to the most features in a watch. Uh, this might keep some correlation with the price of the watch, but that's not necessarily the criteria that I'm following here. And we're going to start with this watch, which is the Casio F91W, uh, a watch that anyone who's ever been alive uh, should know about, simply because it's the most sold watch in the world, with around 3 million units every year, which is absolutely insane. This watch comes in with a very simple module uh, with only an alarm and a chronograph uh, besides the day and date functions. Uh, it's only water resistant, which means it uh, can uh, be splashed with water, but probably you cannot go uh, dive with this one. Uh, although if you're a diver, you're probably not going to want to do that uh, with this watch anyway. Uh, uh, you can tell I bought this watch uh, for this episode because it still has the hang tag and uh, I did so because this is an extremely affordable watch coming in at around 10 to 15 dollars which is also absolutely insane for a product of this quality. means that if you need a watch and you're broke this watch is probably uh, what you need because it also has probably anything and everything that a person needs in a watch. Uh, so take this one into account, the Casio F91W. Next up we have the Casio CA53W, a watch that besides having the regular features of day, date, uh, the time of course, an alarm, double time zone and a chronograph, it also comes in with an 8 digit calculator which is a really neat feature, although let's be honest you're probably not going to be using that feature a whole lot now that we all have our cell phones. Uh, this watch is also very well appreciated because it was featured uh, in the movie Back to the Future on the wrist of Michael J. Fox. Uh, this watch uh, can be obtained by around $20, which is not a whole lot of money in my opinion for you to get one of these cool watches on your wrist that also has some movie provenance, if you will. So uh, if you're interested in one of these, I'm going to also leave the link in the description below uh, for you to go and check it out, the Casio CA53W. Next watch on our list is the Casio AE1200WH, also known as the Casio Royale. Uh, again, this watch comes in with the regular features, alarm, chronometer, uh, countdown, uh, a really not very remarkable LED light, but the most characteristic feature of this watch is the world time. As you can see in the top right corner, you have a little map, and as you press this button, uh, it shows you what time it is in uh, different parts of the world. It says here what part of the world it is and uh, also the little map on top uh, highlights that particular time zone as you can see there. Really neat feature I think. It also has an analog watch over here 
as you can see the the, the hour the minute and the second hand uh, so you can keep track of your local time as you flip through different time zones in the world uh, this watch comes uh, with a with a, a bracelet like this one similar to this one or a uh, also different options of straps and according to that uh, you can get it for different prices between uh, 18 to 30 dollars which again i don't think it's a whole lot of money for a watch this cool uh, of course this is not the original strap i changed the, the the bracelet for this really cool pilot strap that i had to adjust to this very particular lug width so what i did was to buy a 24 millimeter strap and uh, cut a uh, three millimeter boxes on each end of the strap so i can fit it to this particular lug width some of you might think that i ruined it but i really like it i think uh yeah i think i'm digging it i don't know let me know what you guys think casio a casio ae 1200 wh also known as the casio royale all right, next up, probably my favorite watch in this whole list, the Casio G-Shock uh, DW5600, the quintessential G-Shock. Uh, this is the closest you get to the original G-Shock released back in the 80s. And uh, although these are watches that come with really simple modules, just uh, an, uh, an alarm, uh, chronometer, a countdown, and, uh, and the date, it also comes with really interesting features such as uh, a 200 meter water resistance and a shock resistance. Yes, this is a truly uh, resilient tool watch uh, for people like me who enjoy uh, outdoors activities such as uh, running or riding my mountain bike. This is an excellent option because you don't have to be worried about breaking it, you don't have to baby it. And uh, I also enjoy engaging in a weekend uh, do-it-yourself activities and such and uh, again uh, you don't have to be concerned about this watch. Uh, I also like it because it comes with a really nice size in my case for example I am a rather slim guy uh, with a six and a half inch wrist and as you can see it doesn't look huge on my wrist uh, like other G-Shock watches do. Uh, so that's also another thing that I like about this watch uh, but if you're a bigger guy or you just like bigger watches you can get also the Casio DW6900 which is a watch with similar features uh, but a substantially uh, more considerable size but this watch is waiting for its own future episode so let's not talk about him right now back to the start of the show uh, Casio uh, 50 600 Casio G-Shock DW5600, uh, the quintessential uh, G-Shock and the truly resilient tool watch. Uh, you can also get these uh, around 40 uh, US dollars or you used to get these uh, at around 40 US dollars but their prices have been increasing relentlessly uh, because they have been gaining popularity. Uh, so if you want to uh, grab one of these uh, hurry up because they're probably gonna get a little more expensive in the next months and since I wanted to have a little bit of everything I included a vintage Casio watch I'm talking about the Casio CDM 40 a watch that besides the usual thing like the second time zone the alarm chronometer as you can see comes with a very special feature which is a remote control for your TV Yes, uh, as you can see this watch has seen better days, it's a little beat up, but I still really like this watch. Uh, as you can see it comes with a power button, uh, the volume, uh, numbers to switch through the channels and whatnot, uh, and a little infrared uh, light that comes out of here into your TV. Uh, uh, again, this watch is a little beat up, but you can find them in slightly better conditions on eBay at around uh, $160, although I uh, also found a guy selling a new old stock, it means a, a new uh, watch uh, with its hang tags and its box at around $300. So if you're into vintage Casio watches, this is a, an interesting choice. 
actually collecting these vintage cashew watches is, is a whole different hobby on its own and people are really into collecting these watches because again there's a whole ton of them Casio has been making uh, uh, watches for a, for a long time and you can find really interesting Casio vintage watches Casio CDM 40 remote control and if you're a guy like me who enjoys physical activity like running and jogging but you're not very into smart watches with their brittle screens and their minimal style and they're uh, having to charge them every other day this is an excellent option for you the Casio uh, SGW200 pedometer uh, you can find these watches at around $115 and it's, it's a really cool watch because uh, again for the for the sports uh, person it has really interesting features uh, I'm going to show you here some of my training sessions for example you can save a whole bunch of training sessions here uh, I don't even know how many you can save but for example here uh, it shows you the the time you run uh, it shows you the distance yes in this case 15 kilometers running uh, in under uh, uh, 90 minutes in this case uh, it also shows you the the amount of calories you you burned and whatnot the pace per minute and it, you can also check the the total data that you, that you have in this case for example i ran a total of uh, almost uh, 11,000 uh, calories that i've burned um, what else do i have here to 208 uh, kilometers uh, calories okay yes it also comes with the regular thing as a Ta countdown, uh, alarms, uh, some uh, different time zones, but again, the most special feature of this watch is the, the pedometer. Also, something really cool that I uh, think this watch has is this daily achievement that you can program according to your, uh, your age, your gender, your size, your weight, and it starts filling uh, this little gouge over here until you reach your daily goal or daily achievement. Casio SGW200 pedometer, excellent option for uh, those who enjoy sports and physical activity. And last but not least, we have the Casio Protrek PGR250T. The T stands for titanium because this bracelet is in titanium. But uh, dude, I can't even begin to describe the amount of things and features that these uh, watch has uh, but I'm gonna try it has a compass yes a digital compass over here that you can uh, push and it shows you the north in this case in this direction it also has uh, a barometer and thermometer yes in here it tells you the exact temp uh, room temperature and it shows you uh, how the the pressure has been changing for the past hours in this little graph over here it shows you the current uh, atmospheric pressure here in hectopascals. Uh, it also has an altimeter. In here, in this case, we're in uh, the city of Medellin, in Colombia, and we are exactly at uh, 1,530 meters above the sea level. Uh, it also comes with a uh, um, moon face. Yes, in this case, it shows you the moon over here. And it of course comes with the regular things uh, such as uh, I mean comes with the tides yes a, a tide graph which is also something really cool uh, you can register different data uh, in order to uh, monitor I mean, I mean for example if you're camping or something you can uh, predict if it's going to rain or something and it uh, again it comes with the regular things which is chronometer countdown some uh, other time zones it has this uh, rotating bezel which i honestly ignore how to use because again uh, i mean the the compass is digital and uh, yeah i mean this is a a crazy a watch with a whole bunch of features I uh, usually uh, wear this watch when I'm going camping or trekking because, again, I am a very outdoorsy guy. 
and uh, this is a, a perfect companion for that uh, kind of present. The only uh, negative that I might see on this watch is its sheer size, which is huge, but I think for the amount of features that you get, uh, it's only understandable uh, that this watch comes in uh, at such a, a size. Uh, but, uh, I mean, you can get these watches. Uh, I don't know if uh, this particular model still being manufactured, but you can get them used at around $300, $280 used. Uh, there are other uh, product models that you can still get. But if you uh, want some of those features, uh, but you can't afford uh, this watch, there's an alternative, which is the Casio SGW. 450 or 450 uh, this is a watch that also comes with some of those features such as the barometer the altimeter the thermometer and uh, uh, something that might not have is a uh, the solar powered feature which this one does which i i think it's also really cool and yes? the, the the dial works as a, as a solar uh, panel that uh, powers the whole watch and it can go for months without uh, having to be charged. It also has the indicator of battery right here, which is uh, currently showing high. But back to this one, uh, as an alternative, uh, it does have some of these features and it comes in at only around 55 US dollars. So uh, in case you want to have some of those features, but you, you don't have the, uh, or you don't want to spend that much money on a watch, uh, the SGW450 uh, might be an option for you. Uh, but again, I have this uh, ProTrek and uh, I, I don't think I can uh, get a watch with uh, nearly as many features as this one for uh, for less than maybe a thousand dollars. So it's a, it's a crazy functional watch. It's also very beat up because again, I've used it uh, several times for camping or trekking and stuff like that but uh, it's still very resilient and i don't think it has uh, a lot to uh, envy from the casio g-shock in terms of resistance uh, casio protrek uh, pgr 250t excellent option for those who enjoy outdoors activities uh, such as myself all right, everyone, I think that's it for today. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about Casio watches. Do you think they do belong to a watch collection? Uh, have you had any experience with these watches that I just showed you? Uh, do you want to include any of these watches to your collection? Which one and why? And also don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't done it already. Uh, and as usual, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.